Hello boys and girls, this is JC and welcome to another review. But I'll be honest, I didn't expect to be seeing you so soon, especially not with another C3 yo-yo. Well, but this one kind of came as a surprise because the I remember seeing it being just the release info just a few days ago, maybe five days ago, and then immediately it was in stock all around the world. And so I picked a, I picked up one and it arrived within a day. So in the past 72 hours, I've been playing with it nonstop. Because this yo-yo is super sweet, spoiler alert. But this is the Galaxy Dinosaur. Now, Galaxy Dinosaur, at first I thought this was just a silly, another silly special edition of the Galaxy Diver. But upon closer look at the release info, I realized it's not the same. The Galaxy Diver, the one I have, is the 7075 aluminum edition. So it's got 7075 here, and then stainless steel on the weight rings. The Galaxy Dinosaur, however, is 6061 aluminum with titanium, titanium weight rings. Now that's pretty special. There are not many yo-yos with this kind of composition. But my first question when seeing this is, why? Why? Why would you use titanium on the weight ring? Because I'm no material scientist, but as far as I know, Titanium is kind of light, kind of durable, so that's why it's ideal as the body of the yo-yo, right? So then you can play with the weight distribution, you can make the wall super thin, and make the rims heavy. But why would you use a light, lighter material on the rims? Well, let's take a look together, because I don't actually know, but maybe we can we can find out. So first of all, the profiles, the, the design is almost identical. The cuts and everything, the dimensions, even in the cups, they are, there are no changes. Yeah, no changes made. But if you look closer at the weight rings, you will see that the Galaxy Diver is much, much thinner with its steel. Right, this is just a, a, a layer of steel because I guess they want to make it wide so they, ca they cannot make it too, too thick. And here there's just a tiny blip, a tiny protrusion. Uh, so yeah, the, it's a really thin weight ring. But on the Galaxy Dinosaur, you see, oh, this is one hefty titanium ring. Right, it's almost twice as, th twice as thick as the Galaxy Diver, and it's twice as thick as the aluminum wall. Uh, you see there's a very clear ledge here. So I guess based on my, my guess is that with titanium, you get to use more material because, that, because it's lighter, so that you can achieve more unique weight distributions that cannot be done on aluminum. But just looking at the weight rings, I honestly don't see how different they can be. Now the Galaxy Diver is, is around two grams lighter though. It's at, at around 60, I think just below 64 grams. So that there is a difference. There's definitely a difference, but we will have to find out when we, when we string this thing. But before we do, let's get a few things out of the way. First, the cost. This yo-yo is 190 US dollars. Man, that is a lot. You can get a, a full titanium yo-yo at this price. But I guess I was told that, you know, with titanium, the, the expense comes from material, but, but that's not even the biggest thing. The biggest thing is that titanium is extremely difficult to, to machine. So, a yo-yo like this with two titanium rings is just as difficult to machine as a full-on titanium yo-yo, maybe more difficult. So I'm sure that adds a lot to the cost. And that also makes it difficult to make it perfectly precise because if you, with this kind of machining process, the yo-yo comes with a tiny vibe on the on the rims. Now the center center is perfect, but the rims, there was a, there's a tiny vibe, which is actually in their official statement. They mentioned that because it's almost impossible to get it perfect without making it, you know, a 80% B-grade rate. So that's what we have here. So if, you, if you're bothered by a small vibe on the rims, don't bother with titanium yo-yos in general, because a lot of them, they cannot get it perfect like aluminum. Another thing is the packaging. Now, usually I don't talk about C3 packaging because it's usually just the boring box, but this yo-yo comes with a, with a stand. With a, yeah, with a stand. That's uh, that's really impressive. I thought that was a genius idea because you can, now it's like a display piece, right? You can just put the yo-yo on there and now you can go on your shelves and replace your family picture or something. And because it's nice because yo-yos are really pretty, especially C3 yo-yos. So it's nice to have something to display it with rather than leaving this inside a yo-yo case. The stand, and also comes with a few empty postcards that I'll probably throw away accidentally. But yeah, it's, it's nice to have a, a little bit bonus. 
after paying $190 for this. All right, time for play. Now, if you're familiar with the Galaxy Diver, you will know that this thing is one of the longest spinning yo-yos out there, the Galaxy Diver. It's just, it's so powerful, it's long lasting, and it's extremely stable, but it's slow, right? That's kind of the, the common sense, right? If you want something this powerful, it's going to be a bit slower on the string. And it is, it is. You, it's pretty difficult to speed up with the Galaxy Diver. And that's what I expected when I strung out the Galaxy Dinosaur, but that was not the case. Sure, it was two grams lighter, but from such a hefty body, I expected something still quite sluggish. But this yo-yo is actually really fast. Now, it's not the fastest, but when you compare it to the Galaxy Diver, this is like the drop mirror. This is, and this can fly on the string, which really caught me by surprise. Being lighter helps, but I think it might have something to do with the titanium composition. So uh, one thing is, is it as stable as the Galaxy Diver? Not quite. It loses a bit of the stability, but it's very, very close. Now it can go probably up to two minutes without binds. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know if you're familiar with Gentry Stein's two minute video with the uh, bimetal shutter. Sure, you can go for a long time, but you can't be too intense with the yo-yo because for approximately one minute during that period, the yo-yo is spinning at a very slow speed. So, but that shows how stable it is being able to handle a lot of tricks when spinning at half speed or, or below. And which makes this yo-yo excellent for practicing tricks. Like you can see me, I mess up all the time and it's fine, you can keep going. This yo-yo will, will stick with you. And that also translates into horizontal tricks and this yo-yo stays there, lasts forever. And it's really good at staying on its plane because that's something I struggle with. The yo-yo kind of, when I start off at this angle, horizontal, and then slowly, 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 it tilts up. Now this Galaxy Dinosaur, it's not quite, nothing can really, really beat this Nothing can really beat my incompetence in this regard, but the Galaxy Di Dinosaur is the closest probably you can get to a yo-yo that can help me stay on the same plane throughout a horizontal combo, which is impressive. So in terms of play, this yo-yo is honestly wonderful. It's unique based on what I've tried. Now, is this impossible to do on a, on a yo-yo with aluminum rings? I, I don't know, maybe. Actually, the edge beyond I have here is has a similar effect, but the edge is not quite, doesn't quite have the same stability. It is fast, it is stable, but the Galaxy Dinosaur is almost on a, another level in terms of just uh, spin time and stability. And it's a fair bit wider too, so it can get in the way if you're into tech tricks, if you're into more complex tricks, which I am, but uh, I get, I kind of, I kind of deal with it, kind of deal with it. Sure, it's not the best at them, but eh, it's serviceable. But I imagine this yo-yo is probably super good for 5A, but unfortunately I am not great at 5A, so I can't really, I can't really say much, but I can say this yo-yo is amazing for those big hops, big, uh, you know, around the body, left, right, up, down, uh, turn around, all these tricks that are super popular now in the competition scene, this yo-yo, and it's just how wide it is. I have to, sh I have to show you, because the Edge Beyond is supposed to be a super wide yo-yo, but look at the Galaxy Dinosaur and the Galaxy Diver compared to, compared to that. And this is definitely one of the widest yo-yos in my collection. It's probably one of the widest yo-yos out there without it being like a novelty yo-yo. It's a novelty super wide yo-yo. So in terms of performance, I think this is just Excellent, I have no complaints. The binds are tight. Um, it doesn't come with like a premium bearing or anything. C3 used to, I think, used to like Diffio bearings for their more expensive releases, but now they're like, yeah, we won't bother. You're gonna buy the yo-yo anyways, which I did. <laughs> so so would I recommend this yo-yo for $190? Uh, again, I can't see for sure that this performance is something that can only be achieved with this composition. So I feel like, sure, this yo-yo costs more to make so they can justify the price tag, but is it something unique? Probably, probably not. So if you're a collector or if you, you're you into like higher-end yo-yos, sure, this is a, I mean, a solid performer, but $190, you can, there are a lot of options you can go for. So I guess you would have to, I'd say try it first to see if it really suits you. 
because the shape is kind of extreme. It might not be for everyone. If you want something smaller with this design or this composition, you can try the Omnitron Noah. Yeah, that was just released recently. I'm getting one soon, so I'll be able to tell you more about it later. And also, I believe Yo-Yo Addict has a few Yo-Yos with titanium rims. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, also I'm pretty sure, um, what's it called? Turning Point. Turning Point has several options, but they're also super expensive. So anyways, this is a sweet yo-yo. It looks, oh yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> it's got two colorways, brown and this kind of blue, red, yellow splash. Very cartoony. And you can see the logo is super nice as well. So overall, a, I, I am glad I bought this because, yeah, it's really fun. And hopefully this give you, gives you some insight into this yo-yo. And thanks for watching. I, I promise my next review will be some other brand. I'm not sure, maybe Yo-Yo Factory, maybe some other brand, but definitely no more C3 for a while, for a few videos, because I've been doing C3 nonstop. All right, thank you. Take care, bye.